And today we're going to be talking about the power of asking and I've written down some notes so I'm gonna be looking at my notes and this is my journey so I want to share with you guys things that has worked for me and things that I'm still working on so you guys don't feel alone because sometimes I can feel alone and then I have to realize like I'm not alone it, this world is so big we are not alone let's be here for have you ever felt unhappy with your life? Then if you have, have you asked yourself why you're unhappy? Now we can sit there, we're most likely gonna be negative and write down all the things we don't like. That's pretty typical. We're human, we do it. What about just asking for happiness? You know, I grew up in a church, Christian background. Um, I still believe in God. We always heard, ask and you will receive. Now I understand. So let me give you a backstory. So I've been on a journey of obtaining financial freedom. So on this journey, I found that I can develop apps. Cool. I never thought I could do it. Hey, hey, got a new skill. I started it not knowing any much about it or what to do, where to go, but I just started doing and researching and everything has just come to me. Just recently, a really big opportunity has come to me. So what I did is I wrote on a little piece of paper just like this. I said, I will launch my first app on November 11th. And on November 11th, I got the yes, okay, let's go forward. That is how powerful asking is. So in order to be happy today, what we have to do is change our mindset. A lot of us, we're just giving off negative energy. Let's change our mindset. So first, and we have to believe in what we're doing here. So if you're not trying to believe, if you're not ready, then don't worry about it, just wait. But if you wanna be happy today, let's work on this together. So first you have to ask. Ask for what you want. So for instance, I think that my marriage could be a whole lot better. So now I'm gonna work on this. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask for, a lovely, abundant, um, happy marriage. And then I'm going to put forth the effort to do those. Well, you have to show your partner the love that you want them to give you. Usually they give it back. So if you kiss somebody, they kiss you back. If you rub somebody's back, they're willing to rub your back as well. So we have to practice that. So once you ask for it, you believe in what you ask for and then you put forth the effort, then it's time to receive. It's that simple. If we just change our mindset and start thinking positively and stop feeding negative energy out there into the world, then we will be so much happier. Appreciate what you do have. So I've been that way. I've been unhappy about how things have been going lately, but I didn't sit back and appreciate. I have a lovely family. I have a house that I can call my home. We have food to put in our bellies. We have our health. We are blessed. We truly are. And I mean, I, it's, it's unfortunate that I haven't been realizing this and I've been, I've been being negative. So now I'm turning this around and even the thought of me being more positive, it makes me feel better. So there it goes right there. All you have to do is think about what you want and then put forth the action and believe that it's going to happen, that you're going to receive it and then you will receive it. And the main thing is whenever you're positive and you have a good attitude about things and you're smiling the people around you, they're going to automatically become happier because you're happy. 
they're going to be more positive. And if you have people around you that when you're happy, they get really upset that you're happy or they try to bring you down, then you might need to reevaluate those relationships. But for now, all you can control is yourself. Let's just, just work on being more positive. First off, we're asking ourselves what we want, making it clear what we want, asking God for what we want. You don't really have to know what you need to do because it'll all fall into place, but at least just take action. Put your toe in the water. Just try it and then it'll come to you. And then after that, get ready to receive because you will receive. On Thursday, I'm going to update you on how me and my husband are doing um, because again, we have some work to do. So I'm going to update you guys on that. And for now, you guys keep being positive. Remember that you are worthy. You can do whatever you put your mind to. And I'll see you on Thursday.